Francesco's community. My name is Melissa and I am a YouTuber under the name Can You Carry My Bags? And today I am doing a collaboration with Francesco and I'm so excited to be here and I'm so grateful to be on his channel because I love his videos. They're great. And today I'm going to be doing a video on five different apps that will really help you be more productive and be more successful in whatever you do. So these apps are perfect if you're looking to be more productive at work, more productive at school and studying, or just in general if you're looking to be more productive in your life, to get more things done on your to-do list every day, get up early, and just kind of stay motivated. I really think that they help me stay motivated, which is really good for my productivity. So before I begin telling you about these five amazing apps that I love, I want to just quickly say I am a fashion and lifestyle YouTuber, like I said under the name Can You Carry My Bags, and my YouTube channel will be linked in the description box below, so you could definitely go check out my channel and give me a follow if you like my content, and let's begin. The first app I'm going to be talking to you about is called Finish. And Finish is basically this app that you could summarize your to-do list according to short-term medium or long-term kind of time frames and when you need to get stuff done. So this helps you prioritize what needs to get done first. It also kind of gives you a timeline of what little goals you should set to get that big project or that big work assignment done. But as time passes, your tasks automatically slide up through your time frame and it also sends you reminders if that's something that you want. And it's super easy to just check off your task when you complete it. This is definitely something that's good for projects or assignments. The app number two is called Moment and I love this app. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. The second app was actually recommended to me by a friend. So this app monitors how long you spend on your phone and how long you spend on each app. Basically what you're doing on your phone and why you're wasting so much time, that sort of thing. Someone that is constantly on their phone and on social media, I think this app is definitely perfect for me because I waste a lot of time on Instagram. Sometimes I'll go put up a picture and then like 30 or 40 minutes later, I'm still on it because I just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and that's definitely a problem. And honestly, when I first got this app, I was kind of scared to actually see how long I spend on each app or how long I spend on my phone every day. So it was kind of scary at first, but I think it's something that you should definitely realize and look into if you feel like you're wasting a lot of time on your phone. So as you can see here, it says that I was on my phone for two hours and 36 minutes, and then it tells me all the other days. And then you have the option to set it to see how much you spend on each app. So this app is definitely great at helping you find balance and try to reduce your time on your phone. My third app is called Swipes. This was also recommended to me by a friend. I tried it out and I'm definitely loving it. This is the perfect app to organize your to-do list. If you're someone like me that has a million to-do lists, I have to-do lists on my phone, I have to-do lists on my computer, and I have them in notebooks and I have a planner. So I have to-do lists everywhere and it kind of gets a little disorganized and I kind of get confused or I have some of these like really fancy apps that it's kind of like hard to just check something off right away and that's why I start going back to my journal. Swipes is actually amazing for that. It's really quick to just add something to your to-do list and just swipe it off right away. So you can swipe right to complete the task and swipe left to snooze it for later. If something urgent came up and you don't have time to do something that was on your to-do list, and you think you know you could put it off for another week or two, just swipe left and they'll move it to a different time frame. And you can also see your old task completed and you can get reminders daily for things that aren't done. So that's great to kind of give you motivation to see how many things you got done. And you can also see a schedule of the task. So if you want to put some things for today and then you're going to put something for tomorrow, study chapter five on Friday, that sort of thing. It's great for study. So app number four is called the Focus Keeper. So the title of this app pretty much summarizes what this app does. It helps you keep focus and stay balanced in your day. This is an app that I've been using a lot in the last week. So basically there's a timer that counts down and you can adjust it to any time frame that you want. So I was doing about 30 minutes this week and for some longer tasks I was doing 45 minutes. But you could definitely set it to 10 minutes, 25 minutes and basically what it does is you set it let's say to 25 minutes. It'll count down and then after 25 minutes, it'll beep and then it will give you a five minute break. 
After the five minute break, it will continue the cycle again, so for 25 minutes. And what's good is if you want to do 25 minutes and have a five minute break, but then you know what, there's something that you think is going to take a lot longer and you feel really motivated, you had your coffee, you can definitely adjust it to 45 minutes and do that sort of thing. You can also adjust your breaks. So this is a great app. My fifth and my last app is called Tide. This is actually the most unique of the five apps. It's a timer app with music, different types of music and tones to help you work, study, or just relax and kind of meditate. So it has relaxing tones to keep your mind refreshed and also keep you awake while you're studying. Because I remember when I used to study in university and it was really late, like 1, 2 a.m. And I would put music on because I'm like, I cannot just sit here with no music, with no sound, I'm going to fall asleep. So we put music on, but then it was kind of hard to focus. So these are just kind of like tones. There's no lyrics. This is for people who want to stay awake or are really studying for hours, perhaps during exams. And also just someone who doesn't really like silence and they kind of want something in the background. And this is based on the Pomodoro technique, which is taking breaks. So that's why you have the timer. You work for 25 minutes, then you have a five minute break. And there's also different sounds of nature and just a lot of relaxation things like ocean noises and all that. You can also turn the sound off if you just want to use the timer. That was the end of my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you try out one of these five apps or try them all out. Honestly, like I have been downloading so much apps lately and just trying all these different things to see what can help me be the most productive person that I can be. I'm always on the lookout for new tips and advice and that's why I love Francesco's channel so much. So let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these apps or what other types of productivity apps that you guys use. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!